What's going on guys? Tony from Top Plays here and I am a base hunter here on 2B2T and today I'm going to be sharing with you guys the tips and tricks that I used to hide my personal base from people just like me. And just a heads up, my personal base is within 500,000 blocks of spawn, relatively close and has not been found yet and by the way, it ain't a small base dog. So yeah, sit back, relax and hopefully you guys can use these tips and protect your stuff from people like me because if you don't then I'm gonna come and find your stuff all right so first off let's go ahead and talk about distance one of the first questions I always get about like where do you base hunt you know it's all about distance what cords do I need to start out to base hunt and this is very essential whenever you are trying to hide your base now most people will tell you to go ahead and base hunt anywhere between you know spawn and a hundred thousand blocks if you want to find some you know cool stuff but possibly griefed and they just say past a hundred thousand blocks if you want to find something intact that may be true but i'll tell you right now depending on what kind of base you want to build if you're just building a little survival base if you don't want it griefed honestly i would say go at least 150,000, 200,000 out at a minimum and that is a huge minimum because I've been finding a lot of bases that were griefed all the way up to 300, 400,000 blocks out. And they were just small bases. You know, small little craters in the ground. If you're going to build just a small base, I mean, you, you can hide a small base pretty easily. Probably 250,000 to 700,000 out. That, that shouldn't be too big of a deal. Like I said, I've got a pretty beefy base and it's under 500,000 blocks out. So as long as you use the rest of the tips here... A small base you should be fine with that but if you're looking at doing anything mega a giant build anything like that dog you you're better off going in the millions and i'm not talking about single millions i'm talking about probably four million all the way up to world border but don't get too close to the world border though because all that shit gets griefed out there too so just pick your location wisely um, just get a general idea of where you want to go. Don't pick a set set of coordinates and then go there because you don't know what's there. So just get a general idea. You know, I want to go 6.5 million out and then figure out from there where you want your base to be. But using that distance, you should be fine. So let's talk about travel for a second. How to get out to your final location. One of the things that you're going to want to do is go through the nether. When you go through the nether, my main suggestion is is to use the nether highways or pre-made tunnels as much as you possibly can this helps you do several things this helps you from not having to tunnel yourself and this helps save durability on your pickaxe that you're probably going to need to use later okay so make sure you're using pre-made tunnels and make sure you use the nether highway to get out to the furthest extent possible so what do you do when you get out to the furthest extent possible you're going to want a cave hop. You know, once you get, like, let's say you want to go to 4 million blocks out and you want to go across horizontal, you know, 500,000 blocks. Once you get to 2 million, the furthest point in your trip on the nether highway or through pre-made tunnels, try to cave hop as much as possible. Again, it helps you to not have to dig tunnels, use durability, but also helps prevent people from using free cam to see the tunnels that you dig. Now, when you have to dig tunnels, you're going to want to do several things. You're going to want to backfill your tunnels as much as humanly possible. Because like I just said, people can use free cam to see the tunnels that you dig. So if when your inventory does fill up, even though you're backfilling, you're going to want to burn all of your dropped items using flint and steel. You can see here that you that people like me track dropped items that's one of the ways that i found some of the bigger bases that i found and put on on video is when they were digging the tunnels to their final destination they left all of their dropped items there there was so much netherrick that i was able to follow that was just a dropped item that they could have easily just burnt up with a flint and steel so make sure you do that and that'll make it a lot harder to track where you are now when traveling in the overworld one thing that you really need to be cognizant of is generating new chunks and if you're using a hack client make sure that you have the new chunks hack turned on because what this does is it tells people when you generate new chunks and what i mean by new chunks are chunks of terrain that have never been generated before and with this hack turned on it shows up as a grid of red or green squares on you know on the terrain itself to show somebody where somebody has been so if you were going really far out, we'll say in the multiples of hundreds of thousands of blocks away from spawn, you will probably almost guaranteed to start generating new chunks. 
Now, what people like me do whenever I'm hunting down your base is I'll go through your nether portal and I will look for those chunk trails. That's one of the strats that we use. Now, using these chunk trails, we can follow your direct path all the way to exactly where your base is. As you can see, I am generating just this perfectly linear chunk trail right here. So if these were new chunks, you would be able to follow me directly to my location. Why do I bring up chunk trails? To give you some tips, that's why. So a couple of the tips that I have when you are generating new chunks, because there's some, sometimes you can't avoid it. If you're trying to go far out from people, you're gonna generate new areas. So what I recommend doing is at some point, it doesn't have to be right when you start building your base, but at some point you're gonna wanna veer off. At first you need to explore a huge amount of land around where your base is. Another thing that you're gonna wanna do is go back to your original chunk trail and just kind of veer off. Just make, you see I'm generating these chunks over here and making it look like I turned. You know, just make a shit ton of different paths in different directions to just throw off whoever's following you because eventually that person is going to get discouraged, pop back in the nether and just keep hunting. Um, another thing that you're going to want to do, especially when generating new chunks, is go pretty far out. And this goes into the traveling section where you're going to want to make sure that you're traveling in the overworld as well as the nether. You're going to want to pop in and out of the nether on the way to your final base location. And this also will throw people off of your trail whenever they're trying to follow you. You know, you'll pop in the nether, you'll pop out, you'll generate some chunks, pop back in the nether. Or this all helps whenever you're finding the final location for your base. Another thing you don't want to do, and I showed this in a recent video, is you don't want to build your base or your dupe stash or whatever you're trying to hide at the very end of a chunk trail. In a recent video of base hunting, I actually went, just followed a chunk trail about 10,000 blocks all the way to the very end. And what was sitting at the end? A freaking dupe stash. So make sure you're generating a lot of chunk. That dupe stash wasn't at the very end of that chunk trail. I never would have seen it. It was only like an, uh, like an eight chest uh, dupe stash, a real small stash, and I would have totally missed it. But the fact is, I landed at the end of the chunk trail and it was just sitting right there. Make sure you are generating a lot of terrain around your base and around your dupe stash or whatever you're trying to hide. So if you are getting it to blend in, it blends in and it's not just sitting right there on a chunk border. Now let's talk about portals for a second because as you can see, base hunters like me, that rhyme, that was weird. Um, use portals in the nether to find bases all the time. And there is a very easy way for you to prevent this from happening. First off, whenever you decide on the place that you want to build your base, yeah, this looks like a good spot. So the first thing you want to do is set down a bed and set down a chest. Clear your inventory to include your gear. Don't forget your gear because you will lose all of your armor. Put all that stuff down and only take a pickaxe pop back into the nether and this is very important and destroy the nether portal in its entirety and when i say in its entirety i mean even the part on the ground if you built it on the ground make sure you cover that stuff up with some nether egg right and once the portal is completely dismantled you're going to want to go back in the overworld where you were right well there's only one way to do that and that way is to uh you know just uh abstain yourself in fire or jump off of a cliff or jump into lava but when you die you should respawn at your bed side note with setting down the bed don't forget to sleep in it a lot of people forget to sleep in it and say oh, my bed didn't work well yeah your bed doesn't work if you don't sleep in a dog so sleep in the bed go in the nether destroy the nether portal die respawn back at your bed and when you respawn back at your bed completely dismantle the nether portal in the overworld because the nether portal search hacks work in the overworld and the nether so you do not want to have your nether portals anywhere if you need to go back in the nether just rebuild your nether portal and then do the same thing whenever you're done just make sure that you have a bed set that you've slept in it so your spawn point is set and then you could die in the nether come back in the overworld do whatever you need to do and side note for god's sake if you are going to leave a nether portal up somewhere just don't don't leave it in your base please don't don't put another portal right in the middle of your base and if you're gonna do it make sure that you trap that shit all right guys i hope that this video was very very informative to you 
seriously, I hope that you take some of these tips to heart because they really do help. And they do help protect your base from people like me. So guys, if you had to, if you learned some stuff, you had a good time, or you're going to use some of these tips, make sure to drop a like on the video. And if you haven't already, feel free to subscribe for more base hunting content from myself tips and tricks on 2v2t how to survive and all that good stuff and guys feel free to share the video i would really appreciate it you know kind of help some people out over here and if you want to be a part of the conversation make sure to follow us over on discord the link is in the description below but once again guys thank you so much for the view i really do appreciate it don't forget to keep on playing and we will see you guys next time peace it's my penis